Okay, as you can see, we're at the Pogo Plug website on the iPad. We're only connected by 3G. There's no Wi-Fi or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at my music folder. For the sake of the demo, I've just put one album in there, but it's a good one. You can see here, it'll load up a second again over 3G. It's the album Old Angel by the Lost Dogs. Let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see that that's there. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the camera over a little bit here. You can see there's this button on the song. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then that brings up this, and sorry about the camera moving, but it's just sort of the game that we have to play here. Okay, it brings up this player right there on the iPad. And uh, why it's set by not to play automatically, I don't know, but if we go ahead and click this, the song should start in a second. There we go. We're now streaming from my Pogo plug at home. And I'll bring the camera out here a little bit. And you can see, it sounds pretty good. And then I'm going to uh, bring down the volume a little bit here. And then we can go back out to the main page on the um, device. And because it's using the uh, Internet Explorer in the background, we can basically go to whatever program we want to go to. So uh, open up Feeder. And uh, as you can see up here, there's Feeder in full action. And um, I can get to work on doing whatever I want while my music streams in the background from my uh, from my connection at home. So uh, Pogo Plug, you know, over the HTML5 player in the background works wonderfully on the iPad. Obviously, there's an iPhone answer for this as well, which I'll be showing you the video for shortly. But um, Pogo Plug does it, guys. Does it right now. You don't even have to wait for the iOS 4 update. Have a great one. Bye.